The techniques of helical milling and ramping are versatile and productive options for machining holes and other pocket features. The process involves driving the tool in a helical or angled three-axis motion along the work coordinate, or Z-axis. This optimizes the metal removal rate beyond that of which two-axis motion can accomplish on a single Z-axis plane. Helical milling is ideal for the machining of holes. By taking relatively light and fast cuts, a milling cutter will use significantly less force and power versus a drill. A milling cutter also has the advantage of being able to machine a range of hole diameters. It's also an ideal solution for machining on non-planar faces, such as this through hole located on cylindrical surfaces, like that of an engine combustion case. This technique lends itself to a variety of other parts, such as these common aerospace frame and engine components. This milling technique is not limited to circular features. It can also be applied to features such as rectangular, triangular, and trapezoidal pockets. Even pockets with sloped walls can take advantage of this technique. Optimize the metal removal rate by leveraging the max app or maximum change in Z-axis per revolution, pitch, and feeds and speeds for the greatest productivity. Correct cutter size is key. If the cutter is too small for the feature being machined, it will leave a pip or leftover material in the setter, which can fall and damage the cutter. Likewise, if the cutter is too large for the feature and overlaps its cutter path over the non-setter cutting portion of the tool bottom, it will result in a collision. For help applying this technique, use this supplied chart and calculator from Sandvik Coromont. First, reference the chart to find the correct tool and hole diameter size or range of sizes desired. Next, use the calculator and input the diameter of the hole and that of the tool used. Use this ramp chart supplied by Sandvik Coromont to find the max ramp angle allowed for any particular tool type and diameter size combination when straight ramping. To CAM program this technique in Siemens NX6 CAM software, the planar profile and Z-level profile operations are ideal in most cases. But other operations, such as fixed contour, may also be used. To helical mill holes or 2D pocket features that do not exceed twice the length of that of its width, use planar profiling op. With this op, use the engage setting helical or ramp on part to produce a helix while the profiling toolpath is only used for the final finish pass on the bottom of the feature being machined. Use the Z-Level Profile op for elongated pockets and features with sloped walls. Set the cutting parameters setting in the Connections tab Ramp on Part to create a ramp approach and designated angle between cut levels. This is ideal for elongated pockets in which having the tool continuously ramp would mean that the depth of cut per revolution would be too low to be practical. In this simulation, notice the different ops used to optimize the toolpath for each of the different feature shapes. For more information about implementing these techniques or any other CAM questions, please contact your local Sandvik Coromont representative.